Our top story tonight, death threats against the Fulton County Sheriff and his wife demanding that he free rapper Young Thug. The threats allegedly leading investigators to 18-year-old Quartavis Mender, who is now also in jail. But only on 11 Alive, the suspect says it wasn't him, and his mother says there's more to this story. John Shearick speaking with both of them tonight and joining us live from the jail. And John, what, what's going on with this story? There's a lot of moving parts here. There are, and the sheriff says the threats of violence coming out of this racketeering case are so serious, he split up all the defendants, holding them in jails all across Metro Atlanta. Now the threats are personal against him and his wife. Fulton County Sheriff Patrick Labatt getting the word out he and his family are surrounded by extra security now. I, I signed up for this. Uh, my family certainly did not. The racketeering case against Young Thug and more than two dozen others resulting in death threats on social media against Sheriff Labatt, his wife, and others in law enforcement. One of the posts on the sheriff's Instagram account, for example, I'm going to assassinate the sheriff and his wife if they don't free Thug. The sheriff says the posts were traced to 18-year-old Quartavius Mender of DeKalb County, who is now charged with 23 counts of making terroristic threats. And the sheriff says the threats came keep coming. And to date, we are continuing to receive threats, have as many as four or five more today that are all social media based. We think it's gang related and at least fan base related. So if there are any copycats out there, this has crossed the line and we're going to focus on apprehension of those individuals. Cortavius Mender's mother, Malika Kalenga, and his sister, Denicia Kelly, tell me Cortavius is being treated for a mental illness and has nothing to do with any gangs. And Cortavius tells me from jail that even though his cousin was one of the alleged gang members arrested, he has nothing to do with any of that. So why do they say that you have an Instagram account and you were posting threats against the sheriff and his wife? I really don't know, but it wasn't me. I'm not a part of no gang. I'm not a part of Wyatt I'm not a part of no no. Young Thug don't know him. And he, he don't, don't know, know Young Thug. thug. He, he don't know nobody. You can't, you can't, they, uh, they can't trace a phone call or a message or nothing with anybody affiliated with uh, YSL. My son is really a person that really needs help. But they say they believe Mender did post three threats against the sheriff, not 23, never intending, they say, to follow through. When you cross the line and you threaten my family, that's a very grave mistake. And John, we've been hearing about even more death threats coming out of this case as well. Prosecutors say that some of their witnesses are receiving death threats. Some of their witnesses against young, thr young thug and the others. And so the suspects remain in custody without bond. All right, John, thank you so much for following that. We appreciate it.